Well, now to Greenland and a giant ice island that's floating across the Arctic Ocean. It broke off the Peterman Glacier last week. Covering 100 square miles, it's about four times the size of Manhattan. This is the biggest chunk of ice to detach from a glacier in the Arctic in nearly 50 years. Its expected path across the Arctic Ocean goes southward across the Narrow Strait between Greenland and Canada. Oil platforms and shipping lanes will lie in its path. Glaciologists say it is so big it can't be stopped. But while a 100 square mile island makes for dramatic images, is it dramatic evidence of a warming globe? We talked to Associate Professor Andreas Munchau of the University of Delaware, among the first to get the word out of the Most breakage, of the which scientists call calving. He has studied yeah. glaciers in that region for years and gave us his take on the significance of the event to science and to the climate change debate. An ice island four times the size of Manhattan breaks off the Peterman Glacier. Um, how unusual is this, or how typical an event is that? This has happened before. Yes, it's, it's an event that appears to be happening about every 25 to 30 years. Last time before this that it happened, it was 1991, and um, sometime between 1958 and 1962, um, similar breakoff has happened. Slightly smaller, so it's the biggest one. Um, but I wouldn't call it terribly significant. Why do, why do we care? If you want to know why I care, um, I care because I'm excited about it, because, because of the signs of it that I can do with it. I mean, I'm just, something happened that I have not seen before. The last time that it happened, um, I missed it. And the, the time before that, that it happened, I was not even born. Yeah. So in that sense, it's significant because I've never seen it. I never had the capability to look at it. And um, um, oh, actually, when it happened in 1991, I didn't have the context for this channel. Um, I had not visited the area. Um, I had not thought about all the physics and, and how this, 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 this might further the advancement of science. That's why I care. Okay, I can see why you're so excited. Tell me why um, the rest of us should find this significant. Um, because it's part of a big debate of what is happening with, green, with the green ice sheet right now. Right. So some people are, are pointing to global warming as the reason this massive piece of ice um, broke off of the Peterman Glacier. Others say this is, an, uh, this is something that happens every 20 to 30 years. It would have happened anyway. What do you say? It's not inconsistent with global warming. The question is, how much does global warming contribute to that? And that part, we don't know. Are they becoming more frequent over time that might point to global warming? Um, based on three data points, 1960, 1990, and 2010, Anyone, anyone that says it's happening more frequent or less frequent, I would, I would call a hack. Because that's because we don't know enough yet. That's right. I mean, that's, if the cycle is 25 years or 30 years, and the first time that a person has been near that region is only 150 years ago, we don't know. So you can't say it's not global warming. And that's correct. I cannot, and I do not, and never said that it would not be global warming. My feeling right now is that um, people that want to put the label global warming on every event that happens, it cheapens the debate. It takes the, the, the care and attention to detail away because, hey, if it's global warming, we understand it. End of story. We don't have to understand the science any better. But if this event I is related, if it, and the bottom line is we don't know yet because it, not too many of them have been tracked and studied in this manner. If they are coming closer together, if they're becoming more frequent, if these breakages are becoming larger, and that, is, if that does eventually show evidence of global warming, then this event is very significant. Um, it then then what you're saying is then the way that the mass balance of this specific glacier um, has been operating for um, decades, maybe centuries, is changing. Um, so, so, and that is certainly possible, yeah, but nobody knows that, if that's going to happen or not. So maybe the most significant thing about this breakage is the research opportunity. Opportunities. Moon Chow appeared before an energy subcommittee headed by Congressman Ed Markey this past week. The exchange between the two was called intense and almost hostile as Markey sought to get more concrete answers out of Moon Chow about the role of climate change in the event and couldn't pin him down. Markey actually suggested the ice island is so big, global warming deniers should go live there. Moon Chow said that through all of this, he learned that both the science and the politics of this debate are a lot like the ice island. What is visible at the surface is only a tiny fraction of what's below.